Hello, my name is Christina Stone Kaiser. I hope you are doing well today. I am super excited because I am once again cooking from this Forks Over Knives magazine, the winter 2020 edition. And I'm making something that's called butternut cream farfalla with, let's see what that says, black beans and pumpkin seeds. And just for a little look at it, let me get the page up. Here it is. Oh my gosh. So it is a butternut squash sauce. And you can see there's pumpkin seeds and black beans sprinkled with paprika. And um, there's all kinds of good stuff in there. There's farfalla is the pasta. So just to kind of walk you through it, the recipe in a single batch calls for two 10 ounce bags of frozen butternut squash. I couldn't find it where I was, so I actually got some pre-cut up butternut squash in the fresh produce section, which may add a little bit of extra time to your cooking, but no big deal. You could also just, you know, slice that butternut squash and de-seed it and cut it up yourself. Totally doable. So that goes in with a cup and a half of water and a teaspoon of curry and a half teaspoon of oregano, two garlic cloves and a small onion quartered. And that gets nice and soft. And then you stick it in your blender with a tablespoon of almond butter and some salt and pepper to taste. This is gonna become the sauce. And then you're gonna cook your pasta according to directions and then top it with your sauce and your pumpkin seeds. Um, the black beans go in with the pasta while you're cooking at the last minute, although it doesn't really matter because they're already cooked. So all we're gonna really do together today is just establish that you can make a sauce out of vegetables. How exciting is that? And the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory because it's just cooking the pasta. Um, and you know, just to say like, you could add some greenery, so you could add spinach or kale or broccoli or I suppose peas or whatever. So if you wanted to add a little bit more color still, you could go ahead and add some greenery to it. So here we go. Um, the question I have is like, will this be enough liquid? So I may have to add liquid, I'm not sure, but we'll see what happens. to tell you before there's also a tablespoon of tomato paste in there which should create a little bit of a thickness to it so and that was hot right so I when I poured those in I actually used a spoon I was too chicken to just dump it and hope for the best but so here is my sauce that's gonna go on that pasta and um, this is the single batch Right, so that's how much sauce that it made. And I'm probably, because this single batch is for a friend, so I will probably just like put it in a jar so that they have their sauce separate from their pasta and they can eat it whenever they want. But the smell, oh my gosh. Right, so fragrant. I cannot wait to give this a try. I cannot believe that this is the kind of thing that is possible in our world. And it's just so much good stuff because the pumpkin seeds, super great with your protein and your healthy fats. Um, same, the black beans are going to be great with your protein. There's a little bit of almond butter that's going to give you that same um, protein and healthy fat. So, And then you've got all this vegetable, right? This is a pure vegetable sauce, more or less. 
uh, of butternut squash, onions, and garlic, um, and then your pasta. So we're going to do a gluten-free pasta. You could do a bean pasta. You could do a rice pasta. You could do a regular pasta. It's really up to you. So anyways, there it is. I hope that's interesting and exciting to you as it clearly is to me, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.